In terms of in terms of career services, RDS is uh, their capabilities and their commitment are well beyond anything I've ever seen. Um, they'll sit with you on an individual level and uh, just completely retool your resume. Uh, they do individual training for interviews, um, help you work on your answers and your style, your technique, um, and they're just bulldogs at, at finding you uh, leads and, and opportunities. Um, I, like I said, I've never seen anything like it. The whole program centers about like understanding better the industry and going throughout the firms. For me, it was we went to San Francisco, Chicago, and to New York. But I really thought it was really useful of the masters was that it, it took us to different to different offices of, of all those three cities, and you got to meet the people in the in each office and in each different industry, like the private bankers, investment bankers, even capital markets. So you get the sense of what type of persons work there. So it helps you figure out where you want to be placed, and it just makes easier, like for you to understand what you want. I had never really been in a lot of interviews before, job interviews. So just kind of, you know, learning the typical questions that interviewers ask, uh, how to give an elevator speech on myself, a five-minute elevator speech, uh, just just skills like that, getting comfortable interviewing, um, being in a room with someone who I've never met before, and talking about myself. Um, I don't think they're necessarily skills that you pick up naturally. So just practicing those skills really helped me through this process. Yes, RDS was, was very helpful in, in terms of the, the professional development uh, aspects of, of preparing for a career in finance. And uh, certainly everything from, from interviewing to the resume uh, to thinking about who to speak with and, and networking were all big components of the program. And that's something that uh, definitely helped me not only to, to land my first job right out of the program, but also to consider uh, where I wanted to be in the long term and, and what kind of connections could, could help me and, and mentor me in supporting uh, my, my pursuit. I really didn't understand how important kind of all the intangibles and uh, you know, uh, uh, writing skills, speaking skills, listening skills uh, were required. I mean, in my job now, we have plenty of analysts who are just unbelievable. They can crank through an Excel model. They can um, do any analysis you want them to do, but they're stuck at their desk and really not really approachable people. And kind of one thing I found is I, I think I'm a good asset to the firm, but I think I bring a lot more than just technical analysis. I think, you know, um, uh, I've become someone that uh, senior people trust. Uh, I've been uh, trusted to speak with clients, uh, go to meetings, and it, it's kind of one of those things where, as an analyst in the firm, you have all the opportunities. Um, it's just not everybody takes advantage of them, and I think one of the biggest reasons is because they just can't communicate effectively. They can't do all those again, soft skills that I described. It did give a pretty good bedrock for anything you're going to be doing uh, in the financial industry across different, uh, any kind of boundaries. Um, we, what I use most is, uh, you know, a little bit of the portfolio management in terms of studying what our customers are trying to do and a lot of the derivative stuff that we learned, uh, just the, uh, the terminology and, and some of the ways that you go about, you know, buying and selling derivatives because we do a little bit of that to uh, hedge our positions here. That, that comes in handy every day. The curriculum at RDS really has a, a lot to offer uh, people in all, all, different, uh, all different course areas. And uh, the two things that have helped me the most have been portfolio management and econometrics. And the reason for that is that what we're doing is creating portfolios out of statistical models uh, that we need to understand the characteristics of those, of those models as well as we can. And the only way to do that is by uh, uh, rigorous application of econometrics and uh, by allocations and risk management, um, which, which need to be driven by you know, best practices in portfolio management. And so those two courses really are the underpinning of everything that I do now. What CMC did essentially in the curriculum, it gave you a bit of everything that helped you figure out where you wanted to go and where your career wanted to go financial, like in, in the finance world. That's what it helped me more. And specifically, like the classes like accounting, a really general accounting class, and going a little bit more into depth in other in other subjects helps you like understand better what's going on. I think the faculty had a, a huge impact on my professional life. Um, I would say Professor Muehlberg, uh, who taught the corporate finance class, uh, you know, was kind of my first introduction into a difficult finance class. Um, she has a tendency to call on people and call them out and put them on the spot, which is actually something that happens quite often in the corporate world. Uh, so it kind of helped prepare me for that. 
Uh, I'd say the professor that had the most impact on me was Professor Rosette. He taught us accounting. Um, you know, I had taken one accounting course in college. I didn't necessarily find it that interesting, but for the first time, you know, he made accounting interesting and kind of related everything back to finance and how it fit into the bigger picture. For me, the initial investments class with uh, Professor Houston was very useful in, in getting kind of that, that base uh, of knowledge of, of finance and in investment principles. And so uh, I, I find that to be very useful just to have that broad base knowledge uh, to apply to any sort of situation that I've had at work. Our program itself, with only 20 kids when I started, was uh, you knew everyone very well. And was, uh, it, it sort of created a different kind of environment where everyone was taking the same exact classes at once. So you were all going through the same sort of trials and tribulations. And it did create a nice culture of helping each other sort of get through stuff that you know, you might be good at and then someone else might not be as good at and then other people, you know, and, and that, that was a good trade-off there. And you got to know everyone really well and it wasn't just sitting in a giant, you know, amphitheater, you know, studying corporate finance. Uh, it really was a great uh, culture that by the end of the year especially, we all knew each other so well that we were able to work together very well. My one year at Claremont, you know, I, I had, I'd say, kind of a different type of education. UCLA is a much bigger class size. Claremont's much smaller. Uh, at UCLA, I could get away with kind of not knowing the professors, not knowing people in my class, not participating that much. And I guess uh, I, I grew in maturity a little bit in the sense that at Claremont, I mean, you had to. We had a class of 20 people. Um, I had professors that would just cold call on me and, you know, uh, grill me for answers. And, you know, at first it was really tough, especially coming from an environment where I could hide behind my desk. But uh, I think at the end, it probably was the most invaluable asset that I gained while I was at Claremont. I hope you got a sense at how fantastic and helpful our alumni are. Where would you like to go next? I know you have questions. Let's get you some answers.